You might think comparing the Aptera, a car, to the Tesla Powerwall is a nonsensical idea, and on the surface, you would be right. But digging deeper, you may find this comparison informative and surprising. First off, when I say Powerwall, I'm really referring to Tesla's Powerwall system in total, which includes the Powerwall battery, inverter, and solar panels, as that is the only way it can be purchased from Tesla at the moment. The smallest Powerwall system you can buy is a 4.25 kilowatt hour solar panel array combined with a 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity Powerwall battery pack. Such a system would probably not be enough to keep you living off the grid, but it would store enough energy to cut utility energy costs, particularly the cost of charging an electric vehicle. The cost of this system currently is $19,392 or $14,350 after the federal tax credit. And when I say Aptera, I'm referring to the highly efficient solar powered car being developed by Aptera Motors, which will come in a variety of configurations, but the base full solar option version will produce 700 watt hours of power and have battery storage of 25 kilowatt hours capable of having a total range of 250 miles and the ability to add range at a rate of 40 miles per day from the solar panels built into the car. Looking at Tesla Powerwall system, you have the solar panels on the roof which charge your battery pack during the day and stores energy for later use. If you want to charge your EV while making the most use of these panels, you would charge during the day when the energy from the panels would go directly to your EV's battery rather than charging the power wall and later using its battery to charge the battery in your car. Your car would charge at the rate the panels could produce, which would be about 14 kilowatt hours per day on average. If you take the most efficient EV currently available, the Tesla Model 3 Long Range Plus with an efficiency rating of 253 watts per mile, and divide that number into 14 kilowatt hours, you would get a range boost of about 55 miles per day from your Tesla solar panels. You could augment this with power from your Powerwall battery while not letting it drop below 30%, which would add an additional 37 miles of range for a total of 92 miles of range added per day. In this scenario, your Tesla Powerwall system cost $14,350 your Tesla Model 3 long range plus costs $39,990 and the energy from the Powerwall battery costs whatever your local off-peak rate was since you used all the energy produced by the panels during the day to charge the car. That's a grand total of $58,824 over a 10 year period. With your Tesla Powerwall equipped house, you have solar panels on the roof battery storage, and an EV to charge. Well, you have essentially the same components all in one package with the Aptera. The Aptera has solar panels that will produce 700 watt hours of power, a battery storage system that will store 25 kilowatt hours of power, or more depending on the option you choose. And of course, it's built into the EV you are charging, so you can take it with you when you travel, something you can't do with your power wall system. The Aptera is able to get more miles from less power because it is vastly more efficient than even the Tesla Model 3 Long Range Plus, 100 watts per mile versus 253. The average car in the US is driven 14,300 miles per year or approximately just under 40 miles per day. Either the Tesla Powerwall system or the Aptera will produce enough power to meet this need, but the Aptera as an all-in-one system costs significantly less. $26,800 versus $58,824. And with the Aptera, you can take your solar charging wherever you go rather than leaving it sitting on top of your house. Or if you already have a solar system of any kind installed, the Aptera will leave all those kilowatts available to power things inside your home rather than locking them up and powering your car. Use the link below to check out the Aptera and get $30 off the fully refundable reservation fee of $100.